Hello and welcome to Animal Watch and this week it's part two of Life of Wolf Dog. Today we revisit Kamala, our baby wolf dog, who is now four months old. To find out how she has changed physically and mentally from the last time we saw her. We take Kamala to the nearest large town to see how she'll cope with noises, people and other dogs. We see how her training is progressing and visit one of Tuscany's most beautiful roads to see Kamala walk off leash with excellent recall. We also meet a new rescue wolf dog called Ryuk, belonging to Chad from the popular YouTube channel First 508th Airborne and see how he mirrors Kamala in his socialization and development. Welcome to Life of Wolf Dog. Welcome back to part two of Life of Wolf Dog. If you miss part one, you can click the info bar now to watch episode one. Life of Wolf Dog follows the journey of a small black phase wolf dog pup named Kamala in order to show correct upbringing and socialization so that less wolf dogs end up in rescues, often with the temperament ruined beyond help. Wolf dogs are not like dogs. They possess the raw wolf spirit and genes, which make them more independent, self-serving, possessive, confrontational, and destructive than normal dogs. The higher the wolf content, the closer to the wild wolf the wolf dog becomes and can become far less easy to train and make unstressed and happy. They also bond hard to one owner, so the correct upbringing is paramount so that the puppy is never surrendered to a shelter due to fear and aggression issues. So today we return to Tuscany in Italy to be reunited with Camilla, who is now four months old. Today we are off to socialize her in a large town, an experience which wolf dogs need to get used to. Kamala arrives and jumps out of the car. She is obviously very nervous. Today, Kamala has Lupo as company, a brave and well-behaved German Shepherd. It can be extremely beneficial to training and socialization to have a confident, pure dog with a wolf dog. This dog can set an example to the pup to not feel scared and also provide a form of pack support. Wolf dogs are pack animals and feel safer the greater in number they are. Kamala sets off into the busy town with the brave Lupo at her side. There are noises everywhere and she is very fearful of a lot of these noises. She stops at narrow corridors, a very common trait with wolf dogs who feel stressed in closed areas. It's important to guide your wolf dog through these fear phases and make it a positive experience by showing as her leader that it is safe and nothing to worry about. Cars and buses go by. Kamala takes everything in. Her hearing 200 times greater than a human. It would be like hearing in color. Will you join my wolf pack? The hunt is on. Now guys, I'd like to give a big thanks to Wolf Game, the sponsor of this episode, and let you know a little bit more about Kamala, the little wolf who is playing a huge part in Wolf Game Online. Wolf Game The Wild Kingdom is the first wolf simulation computer game on the lives of wolves that can be downloaded from both Apple and Android app stores. It's literally just launched on the 25th of August, which is amazing news. Now, Wolf Game is no ordinary online computer game. This company really has a big heart. And this is why they're sponsoring this episode, so there can be better information out there in the world to help more wolf dog and wolves 
They will be sponsoring the rescue of two wolf puppies too, which I think is absolutely amazing, which is why I really want you to help support their game. The game is beautiful as all the wolf characters are all designed based on real categories of wolves and the game simulates natural environment with realistic image quality, so you genuinely feel like you are living amongst wolves. And one of the most exciting things about this game is that Kamala has influenced one of the little baby wolves in the game and you get to log in and play as this little wolf, which I think is so lovely. You can watch the little wolf grow and develop in the game as well as in real life. Little wolf will face real life challenges and you can help her complete tasks such as building a den, find food and help pack members until she finally grows into the leader of the pack. The authenticity and diversity of the terrain makes your experience the life and battle strategies of wolves and wild animals more realistically. And as big-hearted wolf lovers and followers of Animal Watch, I'm sure you're so eager to log in and play the game. I'm going to leave you a link in the description below where you can sign on straight away. So will you support Wolf Game and Animal Watch in helping wolves all over the world? We really hope you do. Eventually we arrive in the busy high street. Immediately it is obvious that Kamala has sensory overload as she attempts to get into every doorway she passes, seeking quiet solitude. This behavior is also common in primitive breeds such as Huskies, who also need confidence boosting in stressful busy environments as puppies. It's important to be confident and show Kamala it's okay to walk on. But equally, you cannot overstress the puppy. So after two minutes, we enter a shop familiar to Jessica to allow Kamala some decompression time. Kamala immediately calms down and lies down peacefully. We reward her for her calm and good behavior. So I didn't give treats to them when they are in the stressful mood. Yeah. Because, uh, um, not because I don't want to give a positive thing, because in that moment I think they can't recognize it's a positive thing, mm. but just, oh my gosh, there is food. I have also to be afraid about the food, because, mm. you know, the food for them is life. Yeah. So when they have to eat something, when I have, you know, to preserve the food from people, from over dogs, especially in the noisiest places, they can be more stressful when you give the food in that yeah. moment. So I don't feed them. The shop ladies come to say hello to her and she behaves beautifully with them. They give her a reward so that her experience is positive. We stop at a cafe next for a quick drink. The open square nearby upsets her and she prefers to sit under a table in a quiet corner. She tries to snatch food off the table, but only when she is quiet do we reward her with some treats. We head back to the car and a loud train goes by. Kamala does not like it. However, this will improve, as seen in the adult wolf dogs Jessica has. Hopefully Kamala will become desensitized to the commotion as long as she is given it gradually and carefully, as trust is still the most important thing in a wolf dog's upbringing. You must never break her trust and make her feel unprotected and not safe. We head back home for a break and catch up with some of Kamala's favorite pastimes. break we head to one of the most beautiful roads in Tuscany to watch Kamala off leash and learn a little more about her development from her human Jessica.
dogs love to howl. But at this age, we want Camilla to love howling for the joy of it. So to restrict her too much would make this not fun or free anymore. Sadly, this means that it takes more than one attempt to get her in the camera frame, as when she howls, she naturally wants to walk. At this stage, we let her feel good, so it takes seven attempts to get her in shot, which we finally do. We head into the local vineyard to have a chat about Kamala's development from last time we saw her. She's better outside, she's better on the recall, she is social with people, she is not really afraid about people, only she's afraid about the places. She doesn't like the walls, she doesn't like the terraces. That was very obvious in the town. We saw how she wanted to dive into all the shops mm -hmm. as she went past, almost to like get off the high street, because the high street was a little bit too scary for her. Mm -hmm. When she meets dogs, she's very friendly, isn't mm -hmm. she? She's good with dogs, uh, right now yeah. she's very submissive uh, with all the dogs. She's very submissive, yeah. it's just like a just an agoraphobia that she gets in public places which you've got to sort of work with her yeah to help her to get over so to do that you'll go to the towns constantly while she's at this age a little to get bit her more and also with a bigger pack will be safer for start again you know so bring out uh, another wolf dog with her next time i think so how do you find she is she's for obedience training she is very smart her motivation is pretty high so i can work her some minutes yeah, without stop and she's fine, she likes it. Sometimes when I kept her outside the enclosure, she immediately left her to come to me and ask to do something for me. Now all the time we have been following Kamala, a real life rescue wolf dog has been growing and developing on the other side of the pond in the USA. Meet baby Ryuk, a black high content wolf dog rescued by Chad Jolly Kerr of YouTube channel First 508th Airborne Channel. Now, Animal Watch has featured Chad's puppy socialization and desensitizing techniques before, with his own puppies, as you can see here, which resulted in very trainable and extremely laid back, relaxed adults. These were low content wolf dogs, so when Ryuk turned up, Chad was dealing with a very different creature. Here's a little about Ryuk and Chad's story with him. Right there is my uh, new rescue puppy, Ryuk. I uh, just took him in a couple of hours ago. He came in about 3.30 uh, a.m. He uh, was in a car for uh, almost three days to get here. He was uh, rescued in Texas and uh, Two other pups that were with him were taken to Alabama and then uh, he was driven here to me. It's been a, a long few days for him. He originally comes from a zoo in Kansas. He's 92% uh, content-wise uh, wolf and uh, was used as a uh, wolf ambassador at the zoo he comes from in Kansas uh, where people could come in and hold and pet him and so he's very uh, people friendly. Uh, from there, he was sold to somebody who uh, took him to Texas, and they, from what I know, uh, second, third hand, were trying to start some type of uh, zoo out there. It had wild animals running around the property and uh, several wolf dog pups, and they weren't doing well. Uh, you know, he's got a huge worm belly, and uh, he's underweight, and he's got some bite marks on him, so I can tell that. Uh, Something wasn't nice to him while he was there. Uh, I had to give him a bath. He was covered in oil and all kinds of other junk. I see him interacting here with Badge and playing with her. And Ookla. He's just a sweet puppy. He's a very good boy. Again, uh, despite being a high content puppy, uh, He's very people oriented because he was bottle fed and used to, you know, uh, at a zoo. We're going to get him off on the right foot. I named him uh, uh, Ryuk after the uh, Shinigami from the uh, Death Note uh, anime, which I happen to enjoy a lot. Let's see if he lives up to his namesake and likes apples. <laughs> right there is our rescue puppy Ryuk. We have him down at the uh, uh, Minnehaha Falls. The, uh, 
art fair festival here and we want to get them exposed to a bunch of different people in a new environment and let them check it out and help socialize them. And uh, wow, he did better than I, I even thought he would. After uh, being here, you know, for just a week, knows that I'm not a threat to his food. I'm the provider of food. And that's what you want. You want them to view uh, humans as a provider and not a threat to their food. You know, that can prevent a lot of un unwanted and unnecessary bites, you know, that uh, happen through misunderstandings because the dog doesn't understand. Had him for about three weeks. He's uh, 16 weeks old today. <laughs> See, he uh, is a pretty tolerant temperament. He's doing great. We love him. And uh, he's really getting big and healthy. Can you believe the temperament on this guy? You can just do anything you want to him. He's just a big lover. So as you can see, it is totally possible to calmly socialize and raise a high content rescue wolf dog stress-free. Chad is doing an amazing job with Ryuk and we will be regularly stopping in with him for updates. If you enjoyed this episode of Animal Watch, then give us a big thumbs up and remember to subscribe to the channel. Yes, I know. And tune in next week when we'll bring you more amazing episodes on dogs, wolves, animal rescue and conservation. But we will be bringing you monthly programs on the beautiful Kamala here. So you can see as she grows from being, I should say tiny, but that's not tiny. I mean, that's like husky size. So when she was tiny, right up to when she's going to become a huge full grown wolf dog in the winter, which is going to be spectacular, isn't it? To see sure. when we get the snow, when we go up the mountains and I'll pop Jessica's website if you want to find out more about her and her wolf dogs. And we will see you next week. Bye bye. Bye bye.